difficult to come by this year for the Panthers, and we'll see what they do now. As it, Bresnahan again at quarterback. Got a safety on that blitz, and they pin Bresnahan back into the end zone. Again, just not the way that he wanted it to happen if you're Lacando. Crystal River just taking over and dominating so far yeah. here in the first quarter. That makes it now 16 to nothing. Well, Coach, now if you're Lacanto, you got to kick it off some defense. You better bring the defense on this one. This will be Chris Rivers' third possession of the first quarter, and we'll see what they do with it this time. They've kept the ball on the ground, though, Brett. They haven't put it in the air, so they haven't had to put it in the air. Yep, they absolutely have not needed to. Seven twenty-two to go here. First quarter already sixteen nothing to score. Keep it on the ground in this possession, or if we'll put it in the air. I think they'll keep it on the ground, Coach. Don't you? It's been uh, it's been been awful successful. We got a receiver split wide right. We have a timeout, Crystal River. Let's take some time and think about it, think about it. This is the one thing Crystal River hasn't been able to do the last few weeks, Coach, and that is get off to some leads and kind of take a breath. It has been nothing but close ball games for six straight weeks yeah, for them yeah. really going down. And until they really had a dogfight with Nature Coast. I mean, it was just a defensive struggle at the end. and Goes to overtime. It, it ended the way it did, but... Uh, I really think Chris River outplayed Nature Coast that night. And, you know, there could be a sign hanging up in the locker room from Coach Lowry. Well, they obviously have an opportunity to perhaps get another crack at them. It's a touchdown, and now they're going to have a first and 20. Disappointed about that, but the way their offense has been going, I don't know if first and 20 is that big of a deal for Chris River right now. No, but it could help Lacanto maybe put a little charge in this defense and cover the gaps. There's Parker again around, this time around the right side, trying to cut back up the middle. Gains about five yards. That goes out to the 40-yard line, so it'll be second and about 15 now for Crystal River. And we've yet to see him. Coach Lowry put the ball in there. Maybe this is a good time to start. Well, they haven't done it much this year. They are pretty patient. Ethan McDaniel is their more traditional quarterback, but even in that situation, they hand the ball off uh, a ton. And I think two coach now with a 16-0 lead. If they don't have to, I don't think you will. So it's second and about 17 now for Crystal River. Parker with Williams to his left. Receiver goes in motion, cuts back up the middle. Nice play defensively. Gained one. That's Jared Farrell for Lacanto, making the tackle. <laughs> and that penalty could have been just what sparked the Lacanto defense. And they're going to take a quick water break. So we'll keep it right here, coach, and just talk about yep. the quick start for Crystal River. The opening play of the game, Jaden Williams goes for 75. And Lacanto couldn't get much going on their next possession, and then we see another big play by Jaden Williams takes it down inside the one yard line, and then, then you had the safety. safety makes it 16 to nothing. And and I think Coach Lowry knows that Lacanto isn't going to pass, and he's just going to 
rush everybody he can right at the line, and that's what happened really to Bresnahan as quarterback. He just got blitzed, and uh, he was in the shotgun and nowhere to go. Yeah, uh, obviously a little change up by Coach Harper and Lacanto putting Bresnahan in at quarterback. The left side, and he's got a huge hole, and he may be gone. He's inside the 30, down to the 20, 10, 5, and walks into the end zone. DeAndre Parker for the score. And we will look for another flag as Christopher players are looking at each other. The referee standing at the 35 calling a personal foul penalty against Lacanto, so that touchdown will count. And Lacanto finds themselves now in a deeper hole. Boy, that's a tough one when third and 20, 15 yards, and uh, DeAndre Parker again. You know what they're doing, don't you, Coach? I mean, you know they are not lining up to throw the football, but uh, exactly. Parker takes it to the house. And it is now 22 to nothing awaiting the point after attempt, and this has been just an all-out offensive blitz by Crystal River tonight. The big play guys are making all the big plays in a rivalry game. This is what they want, no question about it. We'll take a quick break for a commercial right now as we get set to get the kickoff. You're listening and watching live high school football on Citrus Preps. Sweetwater Homes is the premier builder on the nature coast of Florida, building quality homes since 1989. Whether you are looking for a retirement community, a home with beautiful natural surroundings, or a second home, Sweetwater Homes offers it all. We have various floor plans that take advantage of our unique area here on the nature coast of Florida, and our custom home planning can make your dreams come true. Visit us at SweetwaterHomes.com or call 352-382-4888. Welcome back to Citrus Prep's live high school football game of the week. And you had that flag, so now they're going to assess the 15 yards in Crystal River's favor. So This one should go through the end zone, out of the end zone. And it did. Well, not the start. If you're Lacanto, you want it, Coach. This is what you couldn't no. do is give up the big plays, and now you're playing big-time catch-up down 23 nothing. There's still 5 minutes and 42 seconds on the clock here in the first quarter. So... Time, yes, but you've got a big, big hole and an offense that's not built for scoring a lot of points, so they're going to have to come up with some big plays somehow. Now they have Ryan Rogers back at quarterback for Lecanto. Yep, a little more uh, traditional for him, obviously. Rogers has been the quarterback most of the season. A snap over his head. Rogers falls on it, but that will be a big, big loss on the play. That was a 12-yard loss right there. Yeah, that's just you, you wonder sometimes when you get three different quarterbacks in there if it can mess with your center, but that one's certainly all on the center as it was a high snap. Second and long for Lecanto as Coach said, Ryan Rogers in at quarterback. Drops back to pass, but here comes There's the blitz. There's a big blitz. Rogers gets out of it, eludes tacklers, still running, hit from the side, and he gets out to about the 12 yard line. And with Coach Larry and Krista River just sending everybody it's going to be hard for Lecanto to get that ball in the air. Uh, yeah, they're going to have to get it out on Rogers some quick routes. Back to throw it, and then before you know it, he was just covered up. Yeah, they're going to need some quick routes, get it out of his hands quickly. I mean, the big play guys are Nathan Cop, Hunter Pitts, number one, and number 88. Those are the guys that have got to make some plays for him. Rodgers again. Looking to his right, looking for receiver, throws it out, and nice catch outside by Hayden Parker. Out to about the 21-yard line. 
Gets them just past the original line of scrimmage, and that'll be fourth and about eight. I think he deep in your own territory, even though it's 23 nothing. you got to punt it. I don't think you have a choice here. No, you got to kick it and hope your defense can come up with a play. No question about that. It'll be Rodgers back to punt. DeAndre Parker inside Lakanto territory. He's got his feet at about the 45-yard line. There's the kick. Parker will let it bounce in front of him. Takes a Lakanto bounce off a Lakanto player at about the 40 nine yard line of Lacanto. So the Panthers give up some more field position and they are really losing the field position battle so yeah. far tonight. And even when they have had the ball in Crystal River territory. Chris River's just playing on a short field tonight from the 50 yard line in. Now, a little more traditional. That's Gabe McKinney, is that behind center or will it be McDaniel? It is McDaniel behind center. The hand off to Parker. Following a tackler, cuts back up the middle. Big gain, that will be a first down into Lakanto territory. Making it look easy, obviously. Yeah. Parker doing a good job, but starts with the big boys up front. A lot of room, big holes for Parker to run through. And it's been on both sides too. We've seen him go left and right. The holes on each side coach have been very, very big. McDaniel, quarterback. Lines up with Robinson to his left. Parker to his right, fakes it to Robinson, gives it to Parker, dances backwards, reverses field, cuts back up the middle, down the sidelines, and he could be gone, but a nice tackle. Great run there by DeAndre Parker. It looked like he was tackled about three times, I Coach. I think he was, and I th he was going off left tackle, and he, it was plugged, and he just made a reverse. And yeah, but there is a flag on the play. And this will be brought back. If that's one thing that shot Crystal River in the foot, it's been penalties tonight. A couple of them tonight. One of them negated a touchdown. That was a big run by Parker. And it's 15, so that'll take it inside. Back on the Crystal River side of the field, down about the 46-yard line. First and 24. But we've seen Crystal River get out of this hole a couple times already yeah, tonight. Yes. DeAndre Parker, a little winded. He's on the sidelines for this one. McDaniel at center. There's the handoff, and it is around the right side. It's Hollis. Big gain back inside Lacanto territory. And again, speed to the outside. Good blocking up front by Crystal River. And they get most of that penalty back on that one play. And some, because now it's only about second and seven. Yeah, so you go from first and forever to manageable at second and seven, and they have just absolutely been gashing Lacanto. Clock ticking under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. It is Crystal River in front of Lacanto, 23 to nothing, and they are back at it again on offense. This time it's Jaden Williams. He'll keep it himself. Around the left side, he's got room to move. He's going down the sidelines, and he's tackled from behind. Did he get in? No, they're going to mark him down at about the one-yard line. on the play, holding on Crystal River. Well, this is a re repeat we've seen too many yeah, times. If you're yeah, Crystal River, yeah, I think they're a little yeah. tired of this. And I think probably DeAndre Parker, Jaden Williams are saying... Got 60, 70 yards each rushing. Could have 250 or three if it wasn't for the yeah. penalties. They keep going backwards. Now there was two penalties on this drive and it, it cost them 25 yards. So they'll line up with a second 14. We got a minute 40 to go here in the first quarter. DeAndre Parker's lined up as a quarterback. 
Got one receiver out wide left. Canto with some pressure. Parker takes it himself. Cuts back or left. Hit high near the helmet. He was almost horse collar. Yes, right he there. was. He got just under the neck. Parker reaching down, looking <laughs> at his jersey, telling the official it got tugged. It did get tugged, but no helmet on that one. So it'll be third now and about eight. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. What a first quarter it has been for Crystal River. 23 points, their best offensive outburst in quite some time in a quarter. Parker taking the snap, looking, a little flick. Man, that's a big play as Tyler Sandak breaks the tackle. He's around the right side. He's got room to go. Tiptoeing down the sidelines and delivers a big hit inside the 10. Tyler Sandak. One of the seniors being honored tonight, getting a little love on the offensive side of the yeah. ball. He doesn't do a whole lot on the offensive side. He's one of their better defensive players, but took that little quarterback flip pass from Parker as he came underneath Parker. And another big game. First a goal of the 10. They're just doing a little bit of everything and whatever they want on top of it. Receiver split wide left. There's the snap, nice cutback to Lacanto all over that one. Good defensive play by the Panthers. And that'll take us to the end of the first quarter. 23 to nothing, Crystal River in front at the end of one. We'll pause for a commercial break. We are live at Crystal River High School for our high school football game of the week. It's Crystal River Lacanto on Citrus Preps. Are you striking out with other plumbers? Hit a home run with Mike Scott Plumbing with no overtime charges. That's right, 24-7, nights, weekends, and even holidays. That's straight time, anytime, all the time. Hit a grand slam by liking us on Facebook, and you could win two tickets to a Tampa Rays baseball game. For fast quality service, just call 866-314-4443. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. Welcome back to Citrus Preps Live High School Football Game of the Week. Crystal River and Lacanto after one quarter of play. It's 23 to nothing, Crystal River in front. And Crystal River has pretty well been perfect in the first quarter, Brett, with the exception of the penalties for holding and personal fouls and so forth. And I think other than that, their offense really haven't had much hiccups, and they've all they've all got these penalties on the offensive side of the ball. So I think Coach Lauer at halftime is probably going to address that and some boys on the offensive side, no more penalties, and that's shooting us in the foot. Yeah, that's what you have to, to try and clean up, but hard to kind of keep your focus when you already are up 23 to nothing. But uh, obviously this has big impl implications in terms of the district standings, the county championship. Uh, Got to pick up the victory. Here is a tight formation by Crystal River with three running backs. McDaniel goes to the air looking in the end zone, and it is tipped away. First pass of the night. Yeah, McDaniel throwing that one, and he doesn't do a lot of that and certainly doesn't need to do a lot of it with a 23 to nothing lead, but trying a little something there. One of the things I think if you're Crystal River and you're talking about late in the season and if you get into a playoff game, they're going to have to show the ability to throw the football a little yes, bit, Coach. Yeah. There's going to come some times. And they, they had a huge play in week one, uh, a touchdown pass by McDaniel that went against Dunellen, and that got them back in the ball game. They're going to have to find some way to throw the football, but tonight it's all about the running attack. There's McDaniel, the handoff. That goes to Williams, cuts back up the middle. Not a whole lot there is Lacanto stuffs them and it's now fourth down and goal for Crystal River as they have the ball at the 14 yard line. It appears to me they're going to go for it. Yeah, I think they will. Two reasons. Number one, I think they're confident they can pick up a good chunk of yardage, maybe a touchdown, but I think more importantly they feel like their defense can come up with a play if they do not get into the end zone. We'll see what they do. It'll be DeAndre Parker taking the snap. Jaden Williams will be to his right. They run a receiver in motion. Parker 
back to pass, looking for somewhere to go. Lacanto looks like they've got it diagnosed. Parker steps out of bounds, and he is going to be stopped well short. Good play by Lacanto, coach, as they kind of snuff that, that one out. Yeah. yeah, they got into the backfield quickly before Parker was able to make any sort of play. Didn't know if he was going to try to actually pass that one. And if one you or, had a bright spot on Lacanto defense, the safeties in the corners had their receivers covered pretty well. Yeah, they sure did. Did a good job. Staying home. Now we'll see if Lacanto can get something going offensively. 23 to nothing, 10.36 to go here in the second quarter. It's Crystal River and Lacanto, our high school football game of the week from Crystal River High School, live streaming on YouTube. It'll be Rogers at quarterback. Flag on the play. They took too much time. Did they? Now it looks like a legal substitution. Too many men, perhaps. Yeah, there's too many men. Legal substitution. There was 12 for Crystal River. <laughs> you got to try anything you can. Free five yards for Lacanto. The snap to Rogers, back to pass. Looking deep down the right side for a receiver just out of the hands. Almost a great catch by yeah, Xavier. And a good thrown ball there too. Corcoran. That was a well thrown ball. He put yeah. it right where his receiver could get it. But it goes incomplete. Good throw right there on first and five though. I mean, you've only got five yards to go. You yep. take your shot downfield, see if you can get it. So it looks like when they started with Bresnahan, coach may just been a different look and they're settling in with Ryan Rogers again at quarterback. He's got two receivers split out to the left, one far to the right. Looks like a little pressure from Chris River. They back off. Rogers looking, fakes the toss, holds it himself, and he is tackled for a loss. Nice defensive play by Andrew Esser, number 54, the middle linebacker. Going to make it about third and four. So we'll see what Coach Harper comes up here with the Canto Panthers. Yeah, disappointing because you got first and five and you end up with third and four. Clock running under 10 minutes to go. 23 nothing. Crystal River in front as they try to improve to six and one on the season. And only three games left after this, two district games. So they would be. Sitting pretty at three and one in district play. Looks like a false start there on Lacanto. That will set them back. The near side receiver got a little antsy, coach. Yes. So now it'll be third and close to 10. Good opportunity for Crystal River to bring some pressure if they want to. <laughs> Not the start that Lacanto and Coach Harper wanted. Certainly the start that Coach Lowry was hoping for. But it's been a lot different in the second quarter for Lacanto than in the first. So they've held Crystal River pretty well in check, and they didn't score the last time they had the ball. And I think if Coach Harper can just get this offense clicking, they can make a game of it. Rogers takes the snap. Looking to his right, and he is just swallowed up. Big defensive play by Crystal River, they get the sack. That's Evan Loudon with the huge play. And that will make it fourth. And about 16 now for Lacanto as the ball is inside their 10 yard line. Rogers will move back into punt formation. Crystal River defense has shown their dominance tonight. They've been real good the last few weeks, yes. Coach. I mean, you go back to the Nature Coast game, there's the punt, a low skipper. It'll be picked up by Parker. Cuts up the middle. He's got some room and he's down inside the Lacanto 30 down to the 25 yard line. Talking about that Crystal River defense coach. I mean, talk about Michael Weston and Nature Coast, one of the best running backs. I came in here as the leading running back in the state. And they held him in check. Yeah, I mean, they only put up 14 points in regulation. Uh, they did a fantastic job 
Uh, of course, uh, down against Hernando and Israel Fields, another talented running back. They only gave up a few points, seven points to them. I'm sure, they'll say they got a shutout on Saturday, they gave up those seven points on Friday. Uh, so the defense for Crystal River, and they were really good in the first part of this county rivalry when they took care of Citrus. There's the handoff to the running back out of the backfield. That's number 20, Jaden Williams, and he is still going inside the 10. He's down to about the five-yard line. Jaden Williams is just having a tremendous game. I'm sure he doesn't want to talk about all the yards he's gained. They've been called back on penalties. No. That's what makes it difficult if you're trying to get ready for Crystal River. I mean, DeAndre Parker is just a flat-out speedster, a game-breaker, but I think sometimes you forget the big play potential of Jaden Williams and what he's able to do. Knocking on the door to add to that 23 to nothing lead. It's McDaniel at quarterback. Looks, there's the handoff. It's Parker jetting up the middle and he's into the end zone. Makes that look easy. Finds the hole into the end zone. Six more points for Crystal River. It's now 29 to nothing and Parker and Williams are just putting on a show so far tonight for the Crystal River Pirates. Senior night, two pretty good seniors. And, and they're, they're putting up some like numbers. Yeah, they sure are. It's been impressive. Short field helps it as well. And I know when I've talked to DeAndre and Jaden both, they talked about their offensive lines and, and what a great job those young men do up front. The point for, after is good. Point after is good. So it is now 30 to nothing. Crystal River in front. We will pause for a commercial break as we get set for the kickoff. 30 to nothing. Crystal River over Lacanto live high school football and citrus preps. At Crystal River Firestone, our mission is to offer you the latest in parts and products at the best prices with unparalleled service. Family owned and operated since 1977, Crystal River Firestone will not only take care of all your tire needs with our expert service, but we also offer scheduled maintenance, oil changes, brake service, and more. So head to Crystal River Firestone to see what a hometown team can do for you. Crystal River Firestone, 1010 North Sun Coast Boulevard, Crystal River. Back to Citrus Preps Live High School Football. It is Crystal River about to kick off 30 to nothing. The Pirates in front, there's the kick. Sails down to about the five yard line. It is muffed by Lecanto, picked up by the Panthers. There's a flag thrown, looks like it will go against Lacanto. As the news holding. just keeps getting worse, that'll set them back. Blocking the back on Lacanto. Yeah, absolutely. Can't start these drives inside your 10 yard line. It's no. tough enough, it's 30 to nothing. Now you just gotta look for something, something to give you some momentum, something positive if you're Lacanto moving forward. And they're going to start this drive here on about their eight. They don't need that. Hang on, Jay. Here comes Roman. Down 30 to nothing, deep in your own end of the field coach got to come up with something here it's Ryan Rogers at quarterback for Lecanto takes the snap the handoff goes up the middle very little room as the Crystal River defense again closed doing a good that. job they absolutely had a hole, but it just closed up too quick that's so Ryan Ziegler on the carry clock running under seven minutes and 50 seconds to go here in the second quarter 30 to nothing Crystal River in front of Lacanto making it look easy. DeAndre Parker, Jade Williams, the offensive line really dominant from the first play of the game. Oh, they were. They scored on the first play of the game. That one went and for they haven't stopped. 65, a 59 yard, a couple of other long runs, close to probably 300 yards of offense as we're halfway through the second. There's the handoff in the backfield. The fumble's on the ground and is picked up by Crystal River and it's nice into the end zone for a defensive touchdown.
Miles Hampton picked that up, I believe. That would be another one of your seniors coming up with a big play. As if you're Crystal River, everything going right. And if you're Lacanto, everything going in the opposite direction. So now you add a defensive score. It is 36 to nothing. Crystal River in front of Lacanto, awaiting the extra point. McDaniel will hold it, whistle by the officials. Taylor Martin would be in for the extra point attempt. And so he'll try to extend the lead to 37 to nothing. Nice to see a senior if you're Crystal River and Miles Hampton picking one up for a touchdown. Well, they've had a great senior night to start with in the first half. Doesn't get much better. You're playing no, one of your county no. rivals. You, you're yes. pretty much got them buried already here in the second quarter, 37 nothing. Your seniors are coming up with some big plays. A lot going right for Crystal River this evening, and it's been that way all season long. There is the point after touchdown. Good, which makes it 37 to nothing. Crystal River just continues to 7-14 to go in the half. Pile on the points. And again, from the Lacanto perspective, you just got to try to find something positive as we head towards halftime. Starts with the first down, starts with getting something going offensively and I think Lacanto just needs some good field position as they get ready to receive this kickoff here with 7-14 to go in the half. If they can just Require some good field position. I, I think they can maybe get an offense going. It's so hard when they're pinned back. Yeah, they haven't been able to, to pick up any first downs. It's been uh, tough sledding. They've been behind the chains. And they saw it last possession, Coach. They had a first and five. Yes. And ended up uh, with uh, a third and long due to penalties. And they just have a hard time getting things going. And they going. had a kick, and Chris River took over on about the 25-yard line. Yeah, there is the kickoff. Tumbling on the ground, Lacanto gets it at their own 25, up the middle, that is Hayden Parker, gets it out near the 40 yard line. So best, there's something positive, some start. decent field position yes. for Lacanto. This is where, and you've been through it too, coach, I know on the basketball side, when, when your team is getting beat up pretty good. You got to find something to keep them motivated, to keep them interested, and you just got to kind of challenge them play by play, don't oh, you? Oh, you do, exactly. And I, I think at halftime that'll be Coach Harper's one of his sessions with them that, you know, don't hang your head, just go out and play our game and let them win the first half, we'll win the second half. Yeah, you got to be looking at small victories now and just get something positive going forward. There's the handoff up the middle. That is Hunter Pitts. That'll be a first down crossing midfield. And that was their first first down of the and half. Take that back, that was Riley Green, not Hunter Pitts. Riley Green on the carry, he comes up limping a little bit. After a big gain, looks like he's gonna have to go out. But a big play, nice run that was for Lacanto. That was their first first down, gain of about 12. And they get it across midfield, so they're into Crystal River territory. Clock running, 6.40 to go here in the second quarter, 37 to nothing. Crystal River in front of Lacanto. Ryan Rogers at quarterback. In the shotgun. Receiver coming in motion, that's Bresnahan. Rogers calls his own number, up the gut, nice run as he's close to another Lacanto first down, picks up about Pick up a seven eight. and a half, almost eight yards. Yeah. Good run. Bresnahan had a key block there as he went off right tackle and got him eight yards and they're moving the ball. Yeah, that's what you when want. When they start with good field position, good things will happen. And, you know, it was just so hard for Karch Hoper, Harper and the offense to get started when they're on their own 10, 5, 7, 14. You don't have any room to work. Yeah, you got to be a little uh, conservative. Can't do a lot like. Crystal River in the sense that you don't get a whole lot out of your, your passing game. You've got to no. earn it on the ground. And if you're not doing that. Bridge the hand in motion. There was some movement up front. False start on the canto. 
Moves him back five. Yeah, Crystal River player kind of jumped, but I think that caused the Lacanto player either right before it or after it to move as well. Crystal River player did not go into the neutral zone, so. And that will. We'll water have break. a water so break. We'll take a water break here. You're watching high school football on Citrus Preps. Changing your kitchen or bath? Let the professionals at Deems Kitchen and Bath Showrooms help you update your old kitchen or bathroom. For over 33 years, the Deem family has provided quality products and services to homeowners and builders, from total remodels to changing out your countertops. DCI Countertops is our 15,000 square foot facility for manufacturing your silestone, granite, and Corian countertops. We can provide all your countertop needs directly from the manufacturer. So for your next project, remember the professionals at Deem's Kitchen and Bath Showrooms and DCI Countertops. Don't dream it. Deem it. Welcome back to Earl Bramblett Stadium here in Crystal River, Florida, as it is the Crystal River Pirates. Comfortably in front of their rivals from just down the road. 37-0 over Lacanto. A win tonight for Crystal River. will pick up the county championship for the Pirates. First year as head coach for Cliff Lowry. That's a nice little trinket to have in your trophy case. And it's just another win towards the playoffs. Absolutely, and that's what they're, they're gunning for. They're looking at the power points, and they're looking, trying to catch Nature Coast in the district. Here comes the blitz, and he's swallowed up in the backfield. The handoff, Crystal River all over that one. Gabe McKinney in there as well as a host of other Pirates. With a no gain on that play. Yeah, just absolutely no room to get in there. Might have lost a yard. Again. Third and long for Lacanto. So after they had things going really good, that penalty moves them back. And then a loss of yardage there. And you're faced with third and just about nine ten. and a half, almost ten yards, we'll call it. Rodgers in the shotgun. Pair receivers off to his right. There's a running back in motion. That's Matthew Whitehead. He stops. Almost leans forward off sides. Now another receiver goes in motion. The handoff across, and they almost fumbles it. He's down, and it's picked up. There is a fumble on the play. Let's see if they call it. Tyler Sandak jumped on it. He certainly did lose it before he went down. We'll see if the official called it that way, and he did. Yeah. That was a big hit by He didn't have control Panthers. when he got the handoff, and he had no. it pinned on his back, and when he went down, he, it created a fumble. Yeah, absolutely. And... A turnover now for Lacanto just sort of adds to the misery. That was a good defensive play, though, again. Yes. I mean, you know, sometimes you got to give credit to oh, the yeah, defense yeah, yeah. when they're doing the job. And Chris River has played an excellent job tonight on defense. They've pretty well held Lacanto in check, except for two or three running plays, and the rest of the time it's been Chris River defense. There's McDaniel with the handoff. Goes for short gain off the right side. That one goes to Kyle Robinson. In fact, you could say that Coach Lowry's defense has played as good as the offense. He's done a very good job. Yes, yes. But as we said before, the, the defense has been so good. Clock running with four minutes to go here. Second quarter. 37-0, Crystal River in front. McDaniel, the quarterback. Kyle Robinson off to his left. There is the toss to Robinson. Hole across the left side. Bulldozes forward. Close to the first down. The far side official marks him just about less than a yard short, probably about a half a yard. It'll be third and one. Nice to see Kyle Robinson, Three a senior, minutes and getting in there. 30 seconds to go in the half. Tight formation. There's the handoff. Fumble. And it's fumbled, picked up by Lacanto, and there's the turnover for the Panthers. It is scooped up by number 45, Jarrett Kish. With that's big turnover, but man, you know, you got third and short like they were just trying to sneak it. I think they and were trying to quarterback up. sneak and somebody got their hand in there and got it loose. Or they never got it. I don't know which, but uh Johnny on the spot was Kish with the fumble recovery and and a good kudo defense to Lacanto. Good defensive stop there. Chris River was on the march, had everything going their way. 
Yeah, that's a big one too. I mean, it obviously, again, you're looking for positives for Lacanto and not giving up, keep fighting play by play by play. I'm sure Coach Lowry is not thrilled with what he saw right there. There's the snap. Rogers is crushed behind the line of scrimmage. Big hit by number 11, Tyler Sandak. He's been doing it all season long defensively for Crystal River as he looked like coach. He was almost untouched. Yeah, and I, and I think Lecant or the Crystal River defense doesn't respect the passing ability of Lacanto, and it's taken them four, five, six seconds if they're going to get a pass off. And by then, when you blitz, there's the results right there, and he got thrown for a – a good eight, nine-yard loss in that play. Yeah, I mean, they've – Cantle's going to have to get the ball off quicker. These, you know, routes that take a few seconds are just getting yeah. swallowed up by that defense. You're just going to have to throw the short five, ten-yard and out. Change behind center. Thomas Huffman, who's seen some time at quarterback, he comes in. See if Rodgers may have been shaken up after that hit. That was a good lick by Tyler Sandek. There's the snap. Huffman chunks it in the air. It's underthrown and almost picked off. Should have oh, been picked off. Should have. By Keontae Harvey. That was more like a center fielder waiting yep. for a fly ball to yep. come down as it was underthrown. And Harvey was the only one who saw it. The Lacanto receiver did not see the ball in the air. That makes it about third and 18, 17. Yeah, and you got, as we said, Huffman in at quarterback. He's seen a little bit of time behind center, but not a lot. Sort of been the problem for Lacanto is just finding somebody finding to, to, to run the right. offense like Coach Harper wants it to. They just do not have that bona fide passer. And there will be a timeout. Timeout, Lacanto. 2.18 to go in the half. And I think, obviously, even though if you're Crystal River, you're thrilled with a 37 to nothing lead. I'm sure Coach Lowry and his staff are going to talk about penalties. Turnovers. Turnovers. I mean, there's still a lot of things to clean up, even though things that went yeah. scoreboard-wise about as good as they possibly could. And if you're Lacanto, it's just, you know, keep fighting. Now, they, they talked to me earlier this year when they gave up, you know, I think 67 points to Hernando. They said that was, that was embarrassing. They didn't like it, didn't want any part of it. Well... Now you're now down 37 nothing to one of your rivals at the half. You're going to have to fight hard to avoid that same scenario. And yes. We'll see if Coach Harper can get his young men to do that. Starts with a couple of first downs and some positive offensive plays. They got a little bit of that going last drive, but uh, penalty set them back. Two minutes and 18 seconds to go here in the second quarter. It'll be Bresnahan in at quarterback. Junior, 5'11", 165. Looking for some room to run, but the Crystal River defense all over him, and that play goes nowhere. I don't know if he was initially going to look for the pass, but had to tuck it quickly to avoid the pressure. Oh, and that defense just brutal for Crystal River. You don't get a whole lot of pressure from them, and here again, you you got to you got to take advantage. You got to get rid of that ball in two or three seconds. Yeah, you got to get rid of it, and you know, the problem is if you're looking 14, 15 yards, that route takes a while to develop, and they just do not have that time clock running under a minute 40 to go Lacanto gonna have to punt kick is away it has Parker retreating loses it the ball is on the ground there's a fight for it and Lacanto comes up with it as I don't know if Parker lost it in the lights or just was worried about the defender coming in that was number six Hayden Parker on the coverage, he also picks up the fumble. Yes. I don't know if that was a little lack of focus or if he did lose it. Looked to me like he was looking ahead at where his blocker and the defender was coming down on him and lost the ball. And so now Lacanto has by far their best field position of the they've night. They've had all night. Yeah, they've got it inside the Crystal River 30. Minute 24 and a half. Got a chance to get on the scoreboard. Feel a little better about yourself. Danellen out in front of South Sumter right now, 14 to nothing. The Tigers dropped in the power points in Class 4A in their region from one to number three. So a win uh, tonight much needed against South Sumter, one of their big rivals. And 
It is Bresnahan at quarterback for Lickito. First and 10 at the Crystal River 29 yard line. And he's got to get this pass off, Brett, in two or three seconds or it's. Receiver in motion, the snap over Bresnahan's head. He recovers it, but quickly is Kyle Robinson in for the sack. Huge loss. Canto fortunate they keep the football, but they lose 20 yards about on that snap as it will go to the 39 yard line. Again, you wonder, Coach, I mean, that's what we've seen. Three different quarterbacks. Yeah. That snap was a little high. I think high. that's what Coach Harper's going to probably look for in the offseason, you know, and get somebody that's stable uh, that he can just play every down. You know, I think he's looking now to, <coughs> to see who his choices might be or where he might lean to, but I think that's one of the uh, – Huffman in now, quarterback, and another high snap. He's looking to throw. He's hit from behind. The ball up for grabs, and again – Keontae Harvey, 0 for 2 <laughs> on those, yeah, yeah, those yeah. deep balls. On again. those center fielders. Yeah. Takes it down to 29 seconds. I thought LeCanto had a good shot there, Brett, when they were down on about their uh, 25 or so, and, and maybe to punch it in and get a score by halftime, maybe give them a little boost going in. Huffman was lucky he got rid of that because there was pressure from the backside. Yeah. He was able – to get it off, but Harvey almost picked it off, and now. Lacanto just don't have time tonight to get the ball to the quarterback, and the quarterback gets set and throw the ball. He's got to just get rid of it. Huffman in the shotgun, 29 seconds left to go. It's third and long. Huffman hands it off, short gain. Tackle made by Kyle Robinson. And that'll probably be the last play of the like half. There is a timeout called. Timeout, Lacanto. Lacanto. 19 seconds left. I guess they will try to perhaps put one up. Maybe get the first down. Maybe put it up towards the end zone. 37 nothing. Crystal River in front. Pirates trying to move to 3 and 1 in district play with Central next week. For homecoming, Central playing Citrus tonight. Central hasn't won a game yet this year, so you would assume a great opportunity for Crystal River to move to four and one on the season. And then the last district game they have will be at Weeki Wachi. Weeki Wachi, an improved team, but they got beat up pretty bad last yeah. week by yeah. Citrus. So I think if you're Crystal River and Coach Lowry, I know it's one game at a time, but you're thinking five and one, keep winning. And, and no matter what card. Nature Coast does, we should be one of the four wild cards. They are in real good position to get that. You just got to keep winning. And then, of course, you hope some of the teams you played, like South Lake, like Westport, keeps winning. It always helps. Yes, yes. 19 seconds left. And you keep winning, let everybody else take care of themselves. Fourth and 20. Huffman looking to throw, and he is hit hard. Up high, the referee looking closely at it, but he didn't throw a flag. It's incomplete, overthrown, on downs. It'll go to Crystal River with 14 seconds left to go. Again, just the amount of pressure Crystal River is putting on each and every snap. Now, part of that is the fact that it's 37 nothing, and if you're Crystal River, you know they're going to have to pass the football, so and you can, they're just you can bring the, the heat. On you. Yep. Yep. You're bringing everybody you got. Then Ellen is added to their lead, a 60-yard score by Javon Lee, 22 to nothing. The Tigers, looks like Crystal River will take a knee and go into the locker room with a 37 to nothing lead. And that's what it'll be. The clock winds down under five seconds. They will take it to the locker room here at Bramlett Stadium in Crystal River. Our halftime score, it is the Pirates in front of Lacanto, 37 to nothing. We'll pause for a few commercials. You're watching live high school football on Citrus Preps. At Eagle Buick GMC, folks take a liking to our way of business. They love that we're family owned and family friendly. You get the best selection, the best price, and the best dealership experience. With affordable leases and incredible discounts, find what you're looking for or we'll find it for you. And we always honor our military and veterans. Eagle Buick GMC in Homosassa, under the giant American flag. 
Sweetwater Homes is the premier builder on the nature coast of Florida, building quality homes since 1989. Whether you are looking for a retirement community, a home with beautiful natural surroundings, or a second home, Sweetwater Homes offers it all. We have various floor plans that take advantage of our unique area here on the nature coast of Florida, and our custom home planning can make your dreams come true. Visit us at SweetwaterHomes.com or call 352-382-4888. Are you striking out with other plumbers? Hit a home run with Mike Scott Plumbing with no overtime charges. That's right, 24-7, nights, weekends, and even holidays. That's straight time, anytime, all the time. Hit a grand slam by liking us on Facebook, and you could win two tickets to a Tampa Rays baseball game. For fast quality service, just call 866-314-4443. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. At Crystal River Firestone, our mission is to offer you the latest in parts and products at the best prices with unparalleled service. Family owned and operated since 1977, Crystal River Firestone will not only take care of all your tire needs with our expert service, but we also offer scheduled maintenance, oil changes, brake service, and more. So head to Crystal River Firestone to see what a hometown team can do for you. Crystal River Firestone. 1010 North Sun Coast Boulevard, Crystal River. Changing your kitchen or bath? Let the professionals at Deems Kitchen and Bath Showrooms help you update your old kitchen or bathroom. For over 33 years, the Deem family has provided quality products and services to homeowners and builders, from total remodels to changing out your countertops. TCI Countertop is our 15,000 square foot facility for manufacturing your silestone, granite, and Corian countertops. We can provide all your countertop needs directly from the manufacturer. So for your next project, remember the professionals at Deem's Kitchen and Bath Showroom and DCI Countertops. Don't dream it. Deem, Deem it. it. Welcome back to Citrus Preps Live High School Football. It's Crystal River leading Lacanto 37 to nothing at the half. We'll be back with our halftime analysis in just a few minutes, but to enjoy a little performance from the Lakanto band. Once again, you're watching YouTube Citrus Preps live stream, live high school football.
as the Crystal River band gets ready to come out on the field. We'll update you on a couple of the scores from around the area of the Citrus Hurricanes doing what they, I think, expected to do. But they have to do. They have to do. 27 nothing over Brooksville Central is the Hurricanes now looking for their third straight win. So a, a tough loss, a few losses, four in a row to start the season, a chance to now go three and four. Seven Rivers continues to struggle. They are having offensive issues this year as well, installing a new offense, trying to get used to throwing the football a little bit. They're tra- trailing Mount Dora Christian 28 to nothing. So a, a big night for Citrus as they look like they're going to roll. The standings for That's, the district. Well, Citrus is going to be sitting right up there, um, right in behind. Third. Yeah, they're going to be right behind. Crystal River, as you know, this will be now their second district win, as they will have wins over Hernando and Central, and of course the loss to Crystal River. They still have Nature, Nature Coast. Coast. This will be their third district win. I take that back because they beat Hernando, Wikiwachi, and tonight would be Central. So they would have three district wins with still two left to play. Lacanto and Nature Coast. So they are kind of sitting there sort of controlling their own destiny in a sense because if they could figure out a way to beat Nature Coast, which they did do last year. They beat yes. Nature Coast. You could have a three-way potential tie a three-way tie. Now, Coach Nate Varnador and company probably didn't want to hear about a three-way tie. It did not go their way last year because of the point standings because, of course, that will be uh, the tiebreaker. But, uh, you know, Citrus has kind of turned things around pretty impressively as it looks like they will pick up their third straight win. They've done it at the right time when the district starts. Yes, yes. So they pick up uh, the victory. Looks like they're going to pick up another win. They yep. still got to go uh, out of district to take on South Sumter. South Sumter getting beat up pretty good by Dunellen tonight. So Crystal River, even if you would get into a three-way tie with Nature Coast, I think they – and Nature Coast both would feel really good about the potential of winning because of the, power the, the, the points. And so Citrus certainly needs some help if they're going to get in. But I and, think if Citrus is looking to get in, they're going to need some help and maybe a two loss from Crystal River they're, or they're going to Nature need, Coast. Yeah, they're going to need uh, Nature Coast. And I don't uh, see Nature Coast uh, losing. Yeah, I mean, you know, but if they beat Nature Coast, they would obviously hold the head-to-head with Nature Coast. So... Uh, you, you know, they would obviously hope for Crystal River to drop a game, but we'll have to see. We're going to pause and let you listen to the band from Crystal River as they perform here at halftime.
At Eagle Buick GMC, folks take a liking to our way of business. They love that we're family-owned, family-friendly. You get the best selection, the best price, and the best dealership experience. With affordable leases and incredible discounts, find what you're looking for or we'll find it for you. And we always honor our military and veterans. Eagle Buick GMC in Homosassa, under the giant American flag. Remember the professionals at Dean's Kitchen Bath Showroom and DC. CI countertops. Don't dream it. Deem, Deem it. it. Sweetwater Homes is the premier builder on the nature coast of Florida, building quality homes since 1989. Whether you are looking for a retirement community, a home with beautiful natural surroundings, or a second home, Sweetwater Homes offers it all. We have various floor plans that take advantage of our unique area here on the nature coast of Florida, and our custom home planning can make your dreams come true. Visit us at SweetwaterHomes.com or call 352-382-4888. Are you striking out with other plumbers? Hit a home run with Mike Scott Plumbing with no overtime charges. That's right, 24-7, nights, weekends, and even holidays. That's street time, anytime, all the time. Hit a grand slam by liking us on Facebook. Tickets to a Tampa Rays baseball game. For fast quality service, just call 866-314-4443. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. At Crystal River Firestone, our mission is to offer you the latest in parts and products at the best prices with unparalleled service. Family owned and operated since 1977, Crystal River Firestone will not only take care of all your tire needs with our expert service, but we also offer scheduled maintenance, oil changes, brake service, and more. So head to Crystal River Firestone to see what a hometown team can do for you. Crystal River Firestone. 1010 North Sun Coast Boulevard, Crystal River. Changing your kitchen or bath? Let the professionals at Deems Kitchen and Bath Showrooms help you update your old kitchen or bathroom. For over 33 years, the Deem family has provided quality products and services to homeowners and builders, from total remodels to changing out your countertops. DCI Countertops is our 15,000 square foot facility for manufacturing your style stone, granite, and Corian countertops. We can provide all your countertop needs directly from the manufacturer. So for your next project, remember the professionals at Deem's Kitchen and Bath Showroom and DCI Countertops. Don't dream it. Deem, Deem it. it. Sweetwater Homes is the premier builder on the nature coast of Florida, building quality homes since 1989. Whether you are looking for a retirement community, a home with beautiful natural surroundings, or a second home, Sweetwater Homes offers it all. 
We have various floor plans that take advantage of our unique area here on the nature coast of Florida, and our custom home planning can make your dreams come true. Visit us at SweetwaterHomes.com or call 352-382-4888. Strike! You're out! Are you striking out with other plumbers? Hit a home run with Mike Scott Plumbing with no overtime charges. That's right, 24-7, nights, weekends, and even holidays. That's straight time, anytime, all the time. Hit a grand slam by liking us on Facebook, and you could win two tickets to a Tampa Rays baseball game. For fast quality service, just call 866-314-4443. Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. Welcome back to Citrus Preps Live High School Football Streaming on YouTube. Brett Knudsen alongside Coach Dave Hamilton. It is 37-0 Crystal River in front at the half. The Pirates will kick off to start the third quarter. We will have a running clock to start the third quarter. See what Lacanto can do with their opening possessions. See what both coaches talked about. I would imagine both had probably I would, thrilled. I would, well, I would think Coach Lowry maybe had a little pep talk. And on the other hand, I think that uh, probably Coach Harper maybe scolded the offensive line a little bit for not doing a better job of blocking for the quarterback so they could get some passes off. Chris River kicking off up 37 to nothing. It will be Taylor Martin, a right-footed kicker. Boots it deep. Picked up at about the two-yard line. Returned by Lecanto, up the middle, big run by Hayden Parker. He's got it out near midfield and it's the kicker who's forced to bring him down. Good play by Taylor Martin, no flags on the play. So Lecanto starts the third quarter with some very good field position. Great kickoff return there by Hayden Parker. We've said his name a few times tonight. Yes. He's had a pretty good yes. game yes. for Lecanto. Now the Panthers. Well, Start see if they with a really good going. field position. Yeah, they've had a couple of drives in the second quarter where they've gotten the ball across midfield, just unable to get anything going consistently. It'll be defensive pressure or a penalty that usually sets them back. We'll see if they can get that fixed. It'll be Thomas Huffman at quarterback. Two running backs on each side of him. Receiver in motion. Snap a little high. Huffman gets it. The Handoff goes right back up the middle and good play by Crystal River. Snuff that out, the handoff and to Matthew about Whitehead. Yard to a yard. Yeah, again, that's the tough choice you have right here if you're the Canto because you know we, we've seen not highly proficient at throwing the football. Crystal River not respecting that. And they're gonna have as many men as they can up there in the box to challenge, and it's hard to run when you've got linebackers and even safety's, coming. safety's crashing. I mean, yeah, it makes it difficult as you look. You got only one guy deep for Crystal River. The safety, the corner's up near the line of scrimmage. Receiver in motion, Huffman. Again, high snap. There's the handoff, and again, just absolutely fumble. stuffed and a fumble. Picked and up that one River. is picked up by number 54, Andrew Esser on the recovery and he was all over that but you know the key to that i mean uh, you know first of all coach he had the high snap which wasn't yep. fantastic but uh, i mean the defenders are in there almost when the ball is being exchanged yep. and that makes it extremely difficult we've seen now at least four snaps high high snaps either over the head or significantly impact the play or so, so high the quarterback had to jump to get it and then it just throws off the timing crystal river Near midfield at their own 48. Taylor Martin, the quarterback, hands off to Kyle Robinson. He fumbles the ball on the ground, but it looks like Crystal River recovers it. There was a lineman down the field able to fall on it. That'll be a first David down. gained about six yards on that they fumble. Goes forward for six yards. And that's just a play when it's going your way tonight, it's going your way. Yeah, the lineman was just kind of standing there looking. It was in between a couple of Canto players. Taylor Martin, as I said, taking some snaps now at quarterback for Crystal River. Under center, he's got Keontae Harvey in the backfield. Kyle Robinson behind him. 
Gives it to Robinson, the trail guy. He goes up the middle, and he's tackled by Jarrett Kish after a short game. You wonder how much you will see DeAndre Parker or Jaden Williams here the rest of the game. Both of them on the sideline right now, Coach, and I would, as we talked about, they've had well, there's no sense for injuries, and they've no. got a thin squad. Every week they've gone down in the fourth quarter. It would be nice to have one where you don't have to battle it down to the fourth. And with a running clock, you have an opportunity to do that. Barton. Looks like a lateral behind the line of scrimmage. Picked up short gain there. That's Jared Newell. Looked to me like it was yeah, a lateral just, behind just the line of no scrimmage. No third and long. Third and about nine. Clock running, as we said, with a 37-0 lead for Crystal River. Seven minutes and 35 seconds to go. They're inside the 40, down at the 38-yard line. Martin at quarterback. Fakes the handoff, looking for a receiver. Looking downfield, has got his trail receiver, oh. but it is broken up by Bresnahan. He's having himself a nice game yes, as yes. well. Been put in a bunch of different positions, quarterback. Playing good Look, defensively. Be thankful that Bresnahan was there. That had six points written on it. See what they do here with the clock running. Imagine Coach Lowry will punt it, but Maybe not. Quarterback Martin comes back. Looks like he's going to call a play. It's fourth and about nine. Six minutes and 40 seconds to go. Third quarter, 37-0. Crystal River in front. Firm control of this one. Timeout called by Coach Cliff Lowry. It'll be interesting moving forward for both these teams, especially Crystal River as they still have a couple more district contests left. But this is the kind of win that they needed. As we mentioned, they've gone down to the fourth quarter every single week, week. six straight just, weeks. Just, yeah, just as a nail biter. So this is a little fresh air for them, you might say. And, and uh, here again, maybe give them a boost to move forward. Know their uh, offense can score points. Yeah, confidence, offensive line doing a good job. Again, yep. the defense has been solid. I don't know if you, if you can even call them the unsung heroes, but I mean, when, you, when you've got Parker and you've got Williams kind of highlighting the offense with all their big plays. That's that maybe, about all you need to say. Yeah, maybe your defense gets they, lost in the shuffle. It but, does, and the defense gets overshadowed a lot of times, and really you could – you could give the defense tonight the, the win. Uh, I, I mean, I think seven held. points last week to Hernando. No points tonight. No. You know, they the held one score to Citrus, points. 14 to Nature Coast. Remember, the game winner in overtime to Nature Coast was, of course, an interception return. There's the pass caught from behind is DeAndre Parker. He's grabbed. There's going to be a horse collar, but Parker cuts it back up the middle, and he's gone in to the end zone for a score. On a fourth down play, what a run by DeAndre Parker as he will look to have been tackled maybe two or three times. But he weaves his way into the end zone. This one should go against Lacanto on the penalty, so the touchdown. Unless they had a lineman downfield. Yeah, it looked like he threw it when Parker got grabbed from behind on perhaps a horse collar, but we will wait and see. No, you're right, lineman downfield. There you go. Another penalty, shooting him in the foot. Couple of touchdowns now called back on penalties. Yep. Couple of big plays called back on penalties. They and these might... linemen know the play. They know when that pass goes that they can't release until the ball's been thrown. And if you look at, I mean, they're, they're probably over 200 yards of yard, of yardage that have been called back because of penalties. Oh, oh, or more. Yeah. They had Down the one field. yard, 75 yard run that was called back. So. We're going to have a water break, so we'll take a timeout for a commercial. You're watching Citrus Prep's live high school football from Crystal River. Changing your kitchen or bath? Let the professionals at Deems Kitchen and Bath Showrooms help you update your old kitchen or bathroom. 
For over 33 years, the Dean family has provided quality products and services to homeowners and builders, from total remodels to changing out your countertops. DCI Countertops is our 15,000 square foot facility for manufacturing your silestone, granite, and Corian countertops. We can provide all your countertop needs directly from the manufacturer. So for your next project, remember the professionals at Deem's Kitchen and Bath Showrooms and DCI Countertops. Don't dream it. Deem it. Welcome back to Crystal River. It is fourth down for the Pirates. They are in front 37-0 here in the third quarter. And they have fourth and forever. They're going to go for it. Quarterback is Taylor Martin. Takes the snap. Pressure from Lacanto. He's going to have a hard time getting rid of it. The Panthers have him sacked. Injured Pirate goes down on the play. Lineman hurt getting up, jogging off the field. Good job by Lacanto, though, to bring pressure. And they get the ball back on downs. So a touchdown negated by a penalty. We've heard that before from Crystal River. Yes. The clock continues to run under five minutes to go here in the third quarter. 37-0, Crystal River in front. Looks like Huffman will be back at quarterback. Haven't seen Ryan Rogers since he had that big hit he in the second quarter. Right there he got the hit half. hard. They sort of had been rotating quarterbacks before that, but I suspect that may have more to do with the hit than anything else. So Huffman going to get the majority of the snaps here on out for the Panthers. He was in a battle with Rodgers before the start of the season for the starting job, just missed out on it as they went with Rodgers to start the season. Both quarterbacks are juniors. Huffman, there's the handoff, and Crystal River defensively has got that so they, were, they were in the backfield before Bresnahan got the handoff. That's Jaden Williams playing a little defense. Gets yeah. his name called on that side of the ball. Coach yeah. saying, no, I'm not going to put you in on offense. You've done enough tonight, but can you play a little defense? And Williams says, sure. Steps up, makes the <laughs> tackle for a big loss. That one moves the line of scrimmage back to the Lacanto 40-yard line. That's a loss of six, so it'll be second and 16 for the Panthers. Three minutes and 40 seconds to go. Third quarter. Clock running because of the 35 plus point lead for Crystal River. It's 37 to nothing. Huffman in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Releases it early. The ball underthrown and incomplete. And it could have been a good thing the ball was underthrown because if not there could have been six more for the defense. Yeah, underthrown, couldn't get it to his receiver. Now that's on the near side hash. He's thrown to the far yeah. sidelines. One of the tougher throws for a right-handed quarterback. You've got to have a ton of arm strength to get that out there. And it was underthrown, and it'll be third and 16 for the Panthers. As we said, the clock running under three minutes to go, third quarter. Crystal River rolling, and they've been rolling since the opening play of the game, which was Jaden Williams running for 65 yards and a score. Oh, first play. And that was the opening of the floodgates. And that's where we stand now, 37-0. Huffman with the snap across the middle, up in the air. It's going to be picked off and intercepted. That's Brandon Vickers with nothing but green grass in front of him. That's going to go back for a pick six for Crystal River as Vickers returns it for the score. No flags on the play. That is the second defensive Touch, touchdown yes. for Crystal River. And that's what I said earlier. I said, Brett, I, I think the defense needs to have a kudo tonight, not the offense. The defense has really won this game for Crystal River. Yeah, Vickers just playing kind of center field he there. Was. As that pass sailed over the intended receiver. Vickers doing a great job, and he had nothing but – Green grass in front of him, returns that one. Close to 60 yards for the score. As we mentioned, plenty of points for Crystal River. That now makes it 43 to nothing, awaiting the point after touchdown. Spot is down, kick is up, and it's no good. So it's 43 to nothing. Crystal River in front after a pick six. As the Pirates continue to roll, they hold on, there's a flag. We'll see if it's gonna go 
against Lacanto, and they will retry the point. And it is against Lacanto for a hold. They pulled down one of the linemen. So they will get a chance to re-kick, try to make it 44 to nothing. That'll be spotted half the distance. A little closer on the extra point attempt. Just like when you hook one in the woods. It is. You get a chance to hit number three from the tee box. Yeah. Now, I know you never hook them in the woods. <laughs> I'm used to this. Usually this one goes right. It does, and this one will. Or right down the middle. Right down the middle. And it's good. 44-0, Crystal River leads Lacanto. Clock running under 25 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. We'll wait for the clock to run out, and then we'll pause for a timeout as Crystal River dominating Lacanto tonight. It's 44 to nothing. And they're really dominating them, Brad, on defense. Defense has that been spectacular. Has been An the key another, right another week. So that'll do it for the third quarter as the clock hits zero. We'll pause for a commercial break. You're watching live high school football on Citrus Preps. It's Crystal River in front of Lacanto, 44 to nothing. At Eagle Buick GMC, folks take a liking to our way of business. They love that we're family owned and family friendly. You get the best selection, the best price, and the best dealership experience. With affordable leases and incredible discounts, find what you're looking for or we'll find it for you. And we always honor our military and veterans. Eagle Buick GMC in Homosassa, under the giant American flag. Sweetwater Homes is the premier builder on the nature coast of Florida, building quality homes since 1989. Whether you are looking for a retirement community, a home with beautiful natural surroundings, or a second home, Sweetwater Homes offers it all. We have various floor plans that take advantage of our unique area here on the nature coast of Florida, and our custom home planning can make your dreams come true. Visit us at SweetwaterHomes.com or call 352-382-4888. Welcome back to Citrus Preps live stream high school football on a Friday night. It is Crystal River 44, Lacanto nothing as we are heading into the fourth quarter of this district contest. With a running clock. Running clock, 5A7. Crystal River about to take home the county championship. Nice little feather in the cap for Cliff Lowry, his first year as head coach of the Panther or the Pirates. There's the kickoff. Fumbled a little bit. Lacanto falls on it. Short gain out to about the 25-yard line. That is number 34 for the Panthers. Xavier Corcoran. As coach mentioned, running clock 44 to nothing. First and 10, 25-yard line. Their own 25-yard line and for Lacanto. I'm really impressed with that Chris River defense. That, pressure, pressure, pressure. That has just been, to me, the key for Coach Lowry tonight is the defense. Uh, in my opinion, he ought to give them the game ball. Yeah, they've they've been doing this for a few weeks now. Uh, I mean, the you know a good performance against Dunellen in Week One. They went up against yeah. a high-powered offense in Westport, a shootout against South Lake, and then if you look back, and to every game the defense kept Citrus, the team in it. Nature Coast. And Hernando, it was and now all this. Defense. Yeah. Four tremendous performances by this defense. Huffman at quarterback again for Lacanto. He's in the shotgun. Looks like it's going to be a pitch and a throw by the receiver over the middle and almost intercepted. Good defensive play by Cole Harrison. As but that I like, was Nathan I like Cox. That. I like that because here again, Coach Harper's kind of mixed it up. See him what can get this. Offense going. Yeah, and looking for a little spark. On that play there with a little pitch and a throw, they had time to get the ball off. Okay, had the receiver open for just a second, but a yep. good job closing defensively and by would, Crystal if, River. If they would have picked that off, there would have been nothing but green grass again. Down to 10 minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. You can see it, too, just an undersized offensive line yeah. for Lacanto and that Crystal River defense able to tee off up 44 nothing. They've been able to do that, really, from the second or third drive of the game. Huffman in the shot. Cop 
in motion. There's a handoff and a nice tackle. Short gain. That was Kyle Robinson with the hit, the stick. Flag down. We'll see. Could be a hold. What the call is. If it's a hold, I would imagine they would decline it. That was a minimal game. Lacanto marching back as if they know it's against them. They hold. Crystal River. Cliff Lowry saying, let's decline it. It's yeah. third and long. That was about, what, a two, three yard loss right there. Going to make yards. it about third and 11. Yeah, third and 11. Clock running. We're under 10 minutes to go. Nine minutes and 15 seconds left in the ball game. 44 0. Crystal River. In front. They've been in front from the first play of the game. Huffman in the shotgun. Ball is at the Lacanto 24 yard line. Receiver in motion. Huffman takes the snap, looking to his right, then back to left, puts it up in the air, and that's the jump ball for somebody. It falls incomplete. Closest man in the area was Malik Romeo. But once again, that defensive pressure was Segrady. He didn't have no choice. He had to get rid of the ball. Yeah, floated it up there, goes incomplete. It'll be fourth down, and I would imagine the Panthers would punt, but maybe not. They're lining up. Huffman goes off, and they're going to punt the football. Looks like it's Garrett Kales in. Canto trying to run a player off the field. The snap, Kales gets it off. Looks like it's going to sail across midfield, bounces inside the 35 down to about the 30 yard line. So a good punt for Lacanto. Clock still running. Seven minutes, 48 seconds left to go here in the football game. It's 44 0. Crystal River in front of Lacanto. And as we mentioned, all the close games that Crystal River has played, they've got a chance to sit their big boys here in the third and fourth quarter tonight as they cruise to a win in a county championship. Next week, it'll be Brooksville Central coming to Crystal River. And I know you can't always compare scores and extrapolate what's going to happen, Coach, but Lacanto took care of Brooksville Central handily on Monday night, 27 to nothing. Potentially another big win for Crystal River. There's the snap and the handoff to Keontae Harvey around the right side. Picks up a good gain. Around but here the right again, side. as Coach Lowry's got to got to preach to these boys this week, don't look past them. You know, yeah, every yeah. game they got to win, every game, and and just move forward. Yeah, and I mean it's it's one week seasons, and you got to keep winning to get into the playoffs. That's really the most important thing uh, yeah. as well. That's yeah. Right now, you, you're looking for something a little bigger, but you can only get there one step at a one time. One step at a time. Take care of your business. Yep. The, the schedule is certainly setting up nicely for Crystal River down the stretch. You know, when you're done tonight, celebrate the victory, but tomorrow starts a new week. Exactly. And I think Coach Lowry in his first year has done a phenomenal job with these kids. There's the handoff. Off left tackle. Short gain, good defensive Stop Ryan Ziegler with the tackle. And really for a first yeah, year I mean, coach you know, Coach Lowry, and he's got these kids to buy into his program. He's got the kids to buy into the offense, the defensive schemes that he wants to put in. And and I, I just think he's done a magnificent job for that. Well, we, we've talked about it a few times. I mean, he's got a, a solid group of 11 seniors who yeah. have won a ton of football games going back to when they were junior high students. Uh, their JV team as freshmen, they went undefeated. Uh, as sophomores a couple years ago, this team made it to the state playoffs, lost in the postseason to River Ridge. Last year, things kind of went sideways. Injuries, I think it really started week number one last year at Dunellen. Uh, you know, DeAndre Parker was hurt, and unable to go, that game. and he never really got cranked up as yeah. the whole season went, and that 
you know, well, that, he was that there was on the sideline last year with Donnell, and he was injured. So, yeah, and you know, that was he, the story of the year. And so, I think you know, you, you bring in Coach Lowry after uh, Tony players. Lewis, yeah, healthy and a belief. And I think there's also something to say for those 11 seniors who realize this is our last go round. Yeah, yeah. We've had a really good career, but yeah. but there's something else we'd like to accomplish, and I'm sure that's a state playoff. And win. I think they believe in Coach Lowry, and that's a plus right there. Chris the River alum, yeah, wants to be here embracing everything that is Crystal River football. And it started week one. The confidence built in the second half with that come from behind win over Dunellen, and it really hasn't stopped. Under six minutes to go here in the fourth. 44 nothing. Crystal River in front. Handoff up the middle. Lacanto, good defensive play. Four Panthers in there to snuff that one out. And that'll bring up a third and long for Crystal River. That was one of the best defensive line of the night getting in there. Not going to get any easier next week for Lacanto. They will be at home, but they will be taking on Nature Coast. That will not be an easy game. That will not be an easy game. And they will have to forget this and get ready for yep. a, a team that is probably just as talented as Crystal River and be ready to stop Michael West and one of the top running backs in the entire state. Third down, quarterback rolling. Taylor Martin finds a receiver. Short gain of about two. That's Keontae Harvey on the reception. As you mentioned, it'll be fourth down. Clock ticks under four minutes and 45 seconds left to go. And I think this is the first punt of the night for Chris River. Nope, they haven't had to do much of that. It's been no. big play after big play. They have turned it over, but as you mentioned, I think you look at this one and great job defensively by Chris River, and I think the offensive line, too, yes. getting the job done as well. There were some huge holes for the running backs for Chris River to go through. Now, they've got some talented ones. I mean, Williams and But I still Parker think, though, good. that it started on the defensive side, though, Brett, with Chris River just absolutely – taking charge of this ball game from the from the first snap Lacanto had offensively. Well, and that's that's what you wanted if you're Crystal River. I mean, you know, I think that they believe they were the better football team, and if you're going to do that and you, you think you are, you better go out and establish it early. You know, and you don't you don't want to let a team hang around especially nope. in a rivalry game and they didn't. They came nope. out with a big play and set they the never, tone. And the only thing really that hurt Crystal River or Instead of having 44 points, they could probably have another be over 60. 20. They'd be <laughs> over 60. Look at yeah. the penalties that shot him in the foot. 75-yard TD run called back. 64-yard TD run called back. Another 50-plus yard run yeah. called back. And their defense scored two touchdowns. Yeah. Three a fumble minutes. recovery and a pass interception. So, you know, kudos to the Chris River defense. That's, that's where I would give the game ball tonight was the defense to Chris River. 315 left, fourth quarter. Huffman at quarterback. There's the pitch. Out wide to Ryan Ziegler with a nice gain. He's taken down at about the 47-yard line, their own 47-yard line. It's a gain of about five And I know the Crystal River offense was, was just dynamite tonight, but I still think that they fed off the defense, and the defense gave them everything they wanted. Yeah, absolutely they did. Took advantage. Yeah. You get that big early lead. You force Lacanto to do some things that they were not comfortable with, which yeah. is having to throw the football or at least the threat and of throwing the football. You know, when you go back and look at it, yeah, the offense is putting fans in the stands tonight. It's a sellout, but the defense will win them a championship. That's what's been the key the last four victories, no question about that. Huffman, the handoff. It goes to Ziegler. A nice run again by Orion Ziegler. That'll be a first down. Clock. Ticks to two minutes and 15 seconds left to go. We're in the fourth quarter. Crystal River ahead, 44 to nothing. Well, it's been a fun night, and I want to thank you for inviting me to come on oh, board you'll, tonight. You'll be back again. I might not be back, but you'll, <laughs> oh, no. you'll be back. No, no, no. Well, if nothing no. else, we know we will see you in just a few weeks because we're not that far from high school basketball season, and it should be a fun year around here with some pretty good basketball teams. Huffman again with the handoff. It's Ziegler again up the middle. Big gain by Orion 
Ziegler. We mentioned Brooksville Central will come to Crystal River next Friday night. Looks like they'll come in pretty angry. It's 49 to nothing Citrus in front as Nate Varnador and the Canes have got things really turned around. Playing some good football. This will be now three straight wins for Citrus. After four losses, that's three you in know, a row. He, he kind of reminds you of Coach Densmore. And they you got know, <laughs> you know how late Dens in the year. Out? Yeah. Citrus gets a bye week next week, so I don't know if they want it after three in a row. You might want to keep playing. Yes. A minute to go in the football game, 44-0. Crystal River in front of Lecanto. Panthers trying to get their first points of the night. There's Ziegler. Again, the handoff. Takes it to about the 35-yard line. And Lecanto calls a timeout. Thought they might do that. Is they'd like to get some points, right? I think they'd just like to get some points to – so they say they score. As we said, you, you need to start getting something positive going, moving in the right direction because it because is Nature next Coast. Friday night, it's no easy test for Lecanto with Nature Coast yeah. coming to town. You, you got to be ready. And if you're Crystal River, all of a sudden you shake hands with Lecanto and you say, go get him next week. Yes. It would do us a, yeah, it a, do us a world a, of good. A nice favor. <laughs> And then after that, Crystal River will be rooting for Citrus, saying, go get them <laughs> if you can beat them too. So uh, nice to see the yeah. county teams rooting for one another yeah. when they're not playing each other. I don't know if that's always the case, but that will be as we try to figure out this 5A7 district. Nature Coast knows they keep winning. They're good. I think Crystal River feels the same way. Citrus, though, Well, I think Crystal River keeps winning. They're the wild card. No, they'll be one of the four. There, there's yeah. no doubt about that. I, yeah. I don't see how that doesn't happen. Huffman from the shotgun. There's the pitch outside to Ziegler. He's got some running room up the middle. He takes it inside the 30 down to about the 20-yard line. Couple of players uh, tangled up behind the play, and the referees quickly get well, in. Well, that just took seconds off the clock. And the clock's running. Brandon Vickers not happy on the Crystal River side of the field as he was sent off the field as that thing got a little testy. Yeah. Don't know why they called the timeout. We'll see. 33 seconds. They're putting 33, 33. seconds. 33 seconds. And I don't imagine Coach Lowry appreciated the well, the timeout. Outburst. Well, and he didn't that. appreciate the timeout before. I saw a couple of the Chris River coaches not real thrilled with that. But I think you got to understand, look, you know, Lecanto is trying to teach their kids to keep playing. Yes. Uh, now, I mean, you always worry about stuff happening after the whistle. But, I mean, Lecanto wants to score. Lecanto wants to get some points. And, you know, it's a good teaching point for Coach Lowry and his staff. You know to what? To maintain you, your poise. Yeah, exactly. You're in front. Under this type of condition. No matter what happens. On the happens. other hand, if, if – Coach Harper can get these kids down to store. It, it could be a moral victory for Lecanto. Yeah. Looking at it that way and something positive to build on for next week. 33 seconds, so certainly time for a couple more snaps if you're Lecanto. They've got the ball at the 23-yard line. Coach Harper and the referee now having a little conversation. As I said, things did kind of heat it out there at about the 40-yard line. A couple of players got tangled up. Vickers was one of them for the Canto. He's being scolded by a couple of the assistant coaches. And rightfully so. I didn't see who it was for the Canto that was tangled up as well. So, In my opinion, that's what you see on Sunday afternoons on the NFL. Too much of that? Unnecessary stuff, yes. Referee it's been a clean to... football game tonight. Both sides have played a good, clean football game, and you got to tip your hat to both of them. Hopefully it ends that way with just a couple more plays. Huffman back to pass. Eludes some pressure, goes up the middle, and he is Once again, that line down. came through there. And Lecanto calls a timeout. And I know Coach Lowry's got his, he's, he's got his subs in there and trying to get them some experience too in this, and once again, they just come through the line. I think that's the last timeout for Coach Harper and Lecanto. Yeah, Chris River folks not happy about the timeout call, but, you know, you, you understand it because you're still trying to teach your football team 
to keep fighting. You, you're still working on. You don't want to get shut out either. No. You know. I mean. No. I, I, you know. That's what I say. I give kudos to Coach Harper. He's over there. He's trying to come up with something to get the ball in the end zone. And I, I really think that if he could do that, however he gets it there, I, in my opinion, the only way he's going to get it there is make a pass play. Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating for Chris River because, you know, you, you don't want to get anybody hurt. You, you know the game is over. You're ready to get in the locker room and call it good. So, I mean, you know, you understand both sides of it, but – Play to the last play. And this will probably seconds. be the last play. Huffman has gone the whole second half as quarterback. There's the little pitch to Ziegler. He takes it inside the 15, close to the first down marker. Lacanto trying to hurry up and get a couple more plays off. The clock down to 15 seconds. It's third and about two. Huffman, looks like he tried to down it. Well, he fumbled it, then picked it up. But and you then can't stop the clock down. on an incomplete pass. Yeah. When you have yeah. a running clock, you can have a, a clock stoppage with an incomplete pass. And I think that's what he tried to do was ground the football to stop the clock. Well, he fumbled it first and, and then threw it down. So if you fumble it and pick it up, you can you throw it down? That's not an incomplete pass. I don't know. Uh, Mike Dean checked in on YouTube and said, thanks to you. Didn't say thank you to me, but he said thanks to oh. you. So he, he appreciates <laughs> he, your effort tonight, he, and that'll be he, it. He, he don't owe me a thank you because <laughs> your viewers and listeners will be glad he's back. Well, we will be back next week for another high school football game of the week. The final score here tonight is Crystal River 44, Lacanto nothing. Congratulations to Crystal River as they take home the county championship in 2018. More importantly, they move to 6-1 and one on the season. And keep their playoff hopes and alive. And 3-1 and one in 4-1 yeah, and one in district play as they continue to roll through the seasons. I'll do it for us. For Dave Hamilton, I'm Brett Newts, and thanks for tuning in to Citrus Preps. We'll leave you with the final score one more time. Crystal River, 44, and Lacanto, nothing. <laughs>